Perfect tense is um, is again a one of the past tenses. Now, imperfect, aorist, perfect, and pluperfect are all what we would call past tense. But there are nuances of difference. We've seen the imperfect it has more of a continuative aspect. It's a reference to an action that that began in the past with no expression of its completion. Aorist is simple action, and so it's only a reference to its, its beginning in the past. Perfect tense is a reference to uh, an action that took place in the past, and it has implications in the present. Ireka, which means I have said, is a reference to something that took place in the past, but it, it, it has some kind of importance or implication toward the, in the present. The person and number suffix is going to change in, in perfect tense, and you're going to have what's in, in normal references, you're going to have what's called a reduplication. So I'll, I'll get to that when we look at the charts. Maybe it'd be good idea to look at that right now. Go to your chart. Chart 6 is the present tense. And chart 7 is imperfect. And this is all of the endings. But let me, sh let me walk you through this using this chart. In present tense, there are no augments or anything at the beginning. It's all, only things that attach to the end. And so what I've done is a little dash in the present tense chart stands for the stem. And then the, the thing that comes after it is the ending, the inflection of that verb. Now look at chart 7, the imperfect tense. And notice I have the, an epsilon and then a dash and then the person and number suffix. You're going to see, normally in the imperfect tense, you're going to see an, an augment and then the stem and then the person and number suffix. Now look at chart 8, the aorist tense. In the aorist tense, if it is a first aorist, you're going to have the augment, and then you're going to have the stem, and then you're going to have a person and number suffix, and it's going to be a different one. In fact, before the person and number suffix, there's going to be a sigma. That's a tense sign. 